All right, what is going on guys? So today I've got a bit of a different video. So this has been requested for me to do is a what is DIM and how does it work basically. Um, so DIM, Destiny Item Manager. Here it is. So essentially how DIM works, I'm going to go across each individual tab and basically explain what each bit essentially does and how you can best use it basically. So if this does go on to be a useful video for you, then let me know in the comment section, drop a like, and hit that subscribe button. Um, if not, then let me know in the comment section how I can improve it. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So, first off, you log in, you get the, uh, you can get DIM, just type in DIM on Google, or whatever search engine you want to use, and there you go, download it. This is the... Uh, the desktop app looks basically the same. Um, so here you met with your inventory. Boom. So this is your vault on the right hand side. You got your, if you've got Titan Warlock Hunter like I do, you got your Titan, which is right here, which goes all the way down. So that's everything bar the inventory because it's shared. Um, so everything here is what is on your Titan. And same goes for Warlock, same goes for Hunter. At the top here, you've got your Postmaster, which you can actually hide, like so. So, in my Postmaster room, I've got Enhancement Prisms, and I've got a Legendary Engram, and on my Titan, I currently have a bunch of Umbrals, Prime Engrams, all sorts. Um, now, what can you actually do in the inventory? So, say you want a weapon from your vault, say I want Get Thorn, boom, so I'm a Titan. Whoops, I'm actually playing on my Warlock. Transfer it over. Boom, there you go. You can you can just swap and change it wherever you want. Whatever weapon. You can go ahead and do that. So you got here. There's like a very slight faint sort of like gap. Right there. So that is your primary weapons. So everything in your primary weapon slot. This here, see this little gap here, so anything above where the mouse is, I should be able to see the mouse, I'm pretty sure you do. Hope you see the mouse. <laughs> or oh, that will be a little bit annoying. Uh, this is your energy weapons, so your second slot, and your third slot weapons being your heavies, right here. So, they all split out. If you want to look for a certain weapon, I'm going to use Thorn again, as an example. Thorn, boom, it highlights Thorn. So you want to type that in at the top can do um let's go for a weapon so types in pal so look for palindrome so this is every single weapon that's got pal in the name and then it gives you some options as well so palindrome and depth let's click that so that highlights every single palindrome and depth that i have on across all three characters in my vault so search engines that's how you can use that so it's pretty good um, you can also say, because you can download this as a mobile app as well, you can do all sorts, you can drag and cross each character. Uh, say you're, you know, going to be last minute jumping on and you need to sort your, your inventory out and stuff, you need to grab certain weapons, perfect tool for doing it. So, we'll use the Titan again for the example, because it's got the least weapons on it. Say I needed my Eye of Sol, I can then just go boom, throw that into this slot with the add which is your actually equipped weapons here. Uh, I wanted my sniper, I wanted double sniper for some reason, and then I want the wormy gun. Boom. I can just drag that in. Drag another weapon in, boom. Swap it out. So if I loaded up my Titan right now, this is what will be equipped currently. So, you know, I drag that off, throw it straight in the vault, it'll just pick a random weapon. I believe it's the next one, next highest power. It throws in so that's how that works pretty cool pretty very useful next up progress this is literally where you're at with all of your like quests bounties that sort of thing so currently got my hunter selected up at the top so we got ranks the track triumphs if you have any tracks ones you can see where you're up to with that milestone challenges seasonal challenges bounties quests quest items and raid stuff Pretty self-explanatory that one, so you can see where you're up to with stuff. Got your Warlock, got your Titan. Boom. Vendors. So, this, as of today, is the 21st, so 
Let's see what Ada Wong's got. Swift Charge. Incinerating Light. Unflinging Boeing. Hand Cannon Reserves. They're the purchasable mods from Ada One. You can see that. You can't actually purchase them from DIM, but you can see what they've got. And, you know, Banshee, for example. Shepherd's Watch. You can see Moving Targets, Steady Rounds, Alloy Mag, Corkscrew Rifling, and Chambered Compensator. Same for each weapon. Very useful if you want to see... Say, say you're like, mm, do I want Destiny today? Mm, let's see what, what stuff Ada 1's got. Just jump on quick and then go on something else. Perfect apps. You don't actually physically need to load the game. You can load this up. See what they got. You've also got other stuff like today Destiny and stuff like that. Um, but sticking to DIM. Very good for just seeing what stuff Ada 1's got. What Banshee's got. Um, they're all along this left side. You can also click this. So these would be highlighted. So for example, highlighted. Not highlighted. So these are ticked, I've already got them, tick that, it just has everything there and it's also still ticked saying that I've got it and what I've not got, essentially, so it's very useful. It even says what DLCs you've got right there as well. So it's a very useful tool <clears throat> to see what um, Ada 1 has especially, very useful for that. Uh, if we go to records, so we have our track triumphs, seasonal challenges, our items. Seals and stuff. There's not really anything in there for me. I don't know if it's just me or what, but never anything really in there, so I'm just going to move on from that one. So we've got loadouts. So these are a couple um, test sort of builds that I've been making. Uh, I'm on my Hunter right now, so we've got to the Warlock. Boom. Got some other ones. Titan. We've got some other ones as well. Sticking to the Hunter. Um, got my currently equipped stuff. Got Pulse PvP, these are just some that I've been playing around with. They're not amazing builds, they're just decent builds that I've been playing around with. If I can't be bothered just switching weapons, you can use these when in orbit or at the tower. Basically in the social space, you can't actually use them in game to switch to. So, say I want to make a build. So what I've got currently equipped right now on my Hunter. Uh, I've got Izanagi's Burden, Summoner, and the Palmyra B launcher. Um, so I'm happy with the mods that are on it. I can just click save loadout. I can give it a name up top there. So, test. Test one, we'll call it. Um, say I wanted to swap summoner, right? So you click the X and you can literally put whatever primary, uh, whatever weapon, energy weapon in there. So, boom, I actually want summoner in there. So, we'll leave that in there. Uh, again, click that out. Kinetic weapon, boom. What do I want in there? Hmm. Is an Argus Burden. Boom. So you can literally just pick and choose what weapons you want in there. For your subclass, you can literally customize subclass. Go through, say I wanted Gambler's Dodge on instead, I can just select that. Boom. And then just exit out. And that'll swap it over. So, very useful. And you can even create builds in here. So. General Armor Mod. So you want to run. I don't know. Basically like what I've got. Boom, I want that on as well. Right, it'll find somewhere to try and put it on. So I believe, right, how this works is a bit different. So this just works for, let's just close that real quick. So I currently only have mobility mod, resilience mod, intellect mod, intellect mod. That's all I've got equipped. So I've got four out of the five possible like, armor mods, essentially. So I can then technically add another one somehow. So if I click that, it'll then add it. So if I then close it, it's added the mod to the build, essentially. I believe I actually need to... Uh, Select mods, there we go. So it's now added the mod to the build. And it will find a piece of armour to add it to. If it can. If it can't, because I've just added that, then it will come up in the top right saying can't equip current stuff because it not doesn't meet requirements. So if you know 
you got fully masterworked armor, tens on all of them, and you have access for this, 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 and this, and it adds up to ten. Then there you go. So you can also click this, show placement mods. So helmet, da da da. Gauntlets, boom, 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 boom. So if I don't know, for example, I want to change this out. I can then exit out. I don't want to change it because I'm just, yeah. <laughs> it's a test build that I'm currently doing at the moment, so I don't want to change anything really too much on this. Um, but yeah. You can just go on that, click it, and switch out each thing. You know what? We'll do it. Screw it. So, X all those out. I want... Discipline mod, boom, select. Discipline mod has been equipped. There we go. And then I can do the same again, same again, same again. So that's how that works. Uh, organizer, let's move on to that. If you want a more in-depth sort of thing on loadout, I'm trying to keep it short-ish, but it's sort of not. <laughs> um, I can do that. Let me know in the comments. I'll do a video purely based on loadouts. Um, so yeah, and then we've got Organizer. Now, I'm not 100% on how this works, but my understanding. So, weapons. I want, it basically breaks down the inventory, is how I see how it works. So, I want to see what sidearms we've got to mess with. So, these are all my sidearms. Alright, so this works hand in hand with the inventory and the loadout, basically. So, I want to make a build. Let's go... You know what? Let's go Auto Rifle, Sniper, and Rocket Launchers. So... I want to do these via power. I can do them via power. I can do them via whatever. Um. So, this literally lists every single one. So, I want hand cannons. Boom. Let's go to hand cannons and see what we've got to mess with. Tells you everything about the hand cannons you've got. It's like palindrome. It's got adaptive frame, fleet barrel. So on and so forth. Yeah. Fleet service frame. My understanding on it, there may be more uses for this. Um, but this is purely my understandings from it. And what I figured out from DIM. Using DIM. So, you know, it just gives you your options if you're looking for a GM and you're like off oh, don't know what shotgun to use boom click shotgun there's my options cool just useful for making builds and trying to figure out what weapons to use you sure you're not sure what weapons to use but you know what type of weapon essentially so yeah but with that oh and also you can see your D1 stuff if you want me to do a video and check out my D1 stuff and go through that and go down memory lane then drop a like let me know in the comments section because uh, i'll be down to do that it's pretty cool um it's pretty interesting looking back at the old stuff it's pretty good um but yeah with that i hope you guys have enjoyed i hope you found this useful if you did then i would appreciate a like and uh, subscribe if you're new and if there's any stuff you know about dim that didn't get covered in this video then let me know in the comment section down below uh, you can also jump in the Discord, a link for that is in the description. Uh, let me know about all that stuff. And, um, yeah, hope it was useful. Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching. And if you want more in-depth on everything, I can let you break each bit down. I'll try and do that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, hope it's helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.